The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. The rain in Milwaukee, however, falls mainly upon Matt Walton. <laughs> It's raining in Milwaukee right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Um, I can't see anything because, well, quite frankly, my shirt is too wet to wipe my glasses off with. But it's raining in Milwaukee right now. Um, and in other news, I'm very interested to see if my Blackberry still works or not because it was in my pocket the entire time. So this should be kind of interesting. Okay, and great news. Still works, somehow. It needs a little wash off, but it seems to be good, 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 good to go. Apparently my brain doesn't work when it rains. But, um, yeah, it's a little wet outside. I had, um, I walked to, uh, well, uh, I walked to Kinko's to go copy some things. I... I left them there, actually, because um, I didn't bring my car. I walked because it looked okay out. Um, and um, we weren't supposed to get any storms until like 9, and I started walking back before that, long before that. But it was definitely raining a lot when I walked back. And uh, my wallet got stolen like uh, end of April. April 23rd, I think, was the day. And... Well, that had my ID with my bus pass in it, so I got to take a nice, well, block walk home from Kinko's. I had to pick up some things at Walgreens, too. And those stayed nice and dry in the plastic bag. Um, seek refuge at Starbucks for a couple minutes and filled out a job application. But, nope, walked home. Um, and, I, no, my photocopies are still at Kinko's. I have to drive back and get them later. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I don't even know if an umbrella would have been a lot of help in this situation because, well, my pants, these, these were at one time blue jeans. They're kind of like gray and black now, but they're literally dripping. Like I could have gone swimming in Lake Michigan right now and I probably wouldn't be any less wet than I am. Um, oh, this will be fun. I had my hat on the entire walk home. This is my hair under my hat. This is how wet it is. So, needless to say, the rest of me is pretty drenched. Okay, so as you may or may not know, I'm the proud owner of a fabulous and wonderful ShamWow. You follow me, camera guy? Um, but, um, I have ShamWow. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. I haven't really done anything cool with it. I haven't had a need for it. But remember that thing in the commercial where they, uh... Put a wet sweater, roll it up, it dries your sweaters. Well, frankly, I'm a good test subject for it right now. So we're going to see if um, this t-shirt will come out dry. Now we're going to do this in real time. So, um, oh, I think I need to put the chamois on the table for this to work properly. Let's see if I can set this up so that you can see what's happening. You following me, camera guy? As it happens, here's the table. Here's my working BlackBerry device. Chamois. Okay, I am going to put my shirt on the ShamWow and do the rolly up thing. Oh, it's stuck to me. I don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing. This lasts 10 years. This lasts a week. I don't know. It sells itself. So here we go. Now we're going to do this in real time. Here's a t-shirt. Here's a ShamWow. You follow me, camera guy? Now, in the commercial, all you had to do God, to make the magic happen is... Put a wet sweater, roll it up, it dries your sweaters. Put it in. And roll it up. You follow me, camera guy? So, 
let's see if by rolling this thing up ooh. um so in other news when chamois get wet they smell like um cornstarch which is admittedly kind of gross um okay here we go chamois t-shirt combination and this is where the magic's going to happen ready for this you follow me camera guy three two one Damn wow, you'll be saying wow every time. You'll say wow every time. Um, so now I'm supposed to be able to ring the sham wow out. You follow me, camera guy? And have it like drip all of everything everywhere. No? No? Okay, well, maybe I can ring my t-shirt out. That might be a little better. You getting this, camera guy? Yep, there we go. Ring this thing out. Yes, those Germans, they make great stuff. Yeah, so this is... Well, all ready to wear. Looks good. Here's how to order. Okay, so I don't really know what the deal is, but my microphone was really screwed up before. Um, and I just figured out how to fix it, so now everyone can hear me and I don't have to scream at my computer anymore. That was really annoying. Um... So, what else can I tell you about the rain? This was in my, well, these were in my pocket. It used to be at this. Now it is in multiple pieces. Um, this is what survived of some coupon that I picked up from Kinko's that was in my pocket on the way home. It's pretty sweet. Um, I'll pick up a new one when I go back to get my photocopies. I don't think they would have made it very far. They didn't have a bag or anything. Just chilling in a binder, you know, just chilling. Um, there were some girls playing in the street in their swimsuit. Some probably went to UWM or something. I don't know. They were in the, looked like a college house or something. They were running around outside their house in their swimsuit playing in the street. In the rain, I said hi, stopped and splashed for a couple minutes. Didn't even matter. I splashed in every single puddle that I saw. It was totally worth it too because I was already so completely drenched after like two blocks. It's like, Really? Anything I do right now is not going to make me any more wet. I could go jump in Lake Michigan, would come out the same. If you call now, within the next 20 minutes, because we can't do this all day, we'll give you a second set absolutely free. Except for Lake Michigan's cold. The nice thing is it's nice and warm. It's like 80 degrees out right now. Um, but it's just raining a lot. It's like 8.30 at night, 80 degrees. Perfect weather. Perfect. In other news, next time I know that there's rain in the forecast, I'll definitely be driving to uh, Kinko's or Starbucks or uh, Walgreens or wherever. Um, yeah, not much else is interesting or new. I'm going to uh, shadow casting of Little Shop of Horrors tonight at the Times Theater in Tosa. It's like the last one they're ever doing. So that's cool. Um... Well, gee, I don't really know what else to say here, so uh, I'm just gonna go there, no? Okay, have a nice day, bye! I can't live without it! I just love it! Oh my gosh, I don't even buy paper towels anymore! If you're gonna wash your cars or any kind of vehicle, you'd be out of your mind not to own one of these. All I can say is, sham, wow! Call 1-800-951-7807. That's 1-800-951-7807. ShamWow is not available in stores and is made in Germany. Beware of ShamWow imitators. Call 1-800-951-7807. That's 1-800-951-7807. Call now.